Enough, please. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Kaylee. Welcome back. Oh my God. Hi, everyone. What's going on? My name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I like really hated the way I did that. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Like I'm fucking explaining something. Hey, everyone. My glasses are dirty. I never know how to start a YouTube video because it's so awkward. I just want to be like, all right, and here we go. But I can't because then like everyone's confused. I had been searching YouTube and binge watching a lot of YouTube lately. One of my favorite YouTubers, A-Dubs, does this series called Revealing Your Secrets over on her channel. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you go check it out. I will put the link below. She basically has her subscribers put in a Google Doc all of their secrets and all like their deepest, darkest issues and fucked up shit that they do and they can send it in anonymously and that's exactly what I did. I asked you guys over on all my socials what was the worst thing you had ever done. I have a whole entire Google form of fucked up shit that you bitches have done. So I thought it would be fun to do what she does because Sometimes originality ain't there, you know? I got over 300 responses. I guess without any further ado, let's just go right ahead and see what we got going on. Imagine the Club Penguin Pizza Parlor song playing over this clip because that shit is copyrighted. Before we get started, I just want to say happy fall. Winter is here. Um, really excited about that shit. Okay, so someone said, Catfish, the cute foreign exchange student when we were both sophomores in high school. He showed my the lining of his dick through his boxers on cam. Ended up finding out it was me, but I lied about it. He was foreign, so it was pretty easy to gaslight him into being unsure if it was actually me. That's fucked. <laughs> That's fucked up. But I do have to say, I wish he showed you more if you like went through all that hassle to catfish him and it was just the lining of his penis. Like, come on. Can we get something else? Maybe a tit? Maybe the whole dick, who knows? When I was younger, I had this friend who was also my neighbor and one day he came over and we went into the backyard to play and we had this birdhouse on a pole and he suggested that we shake it and see what would happen. So we did and a bunch of baby birds and eggs kept falling down and the eggs would hit the ground and break and I kept picking up the baby birds and hiding them under the fence so my parents wouldn't see. Anyway, my brother saw the birdhouse shaking violently and told my parents. Long story short, my parents called his his parents over and I got grounded and yelled at but his hick ass parents were laughing I'm sure they are Trump supporters now but it was horrific nature is not something to, to fuck around with and I'm sorry that you thought that was funny but you were younger and we all do things when we're younger maybe I'll even reveal about the worst thing I ever did at the end of this video if you uh keep watching but first, let's go ahead and hear a word from our sponsor. I thought I was going to get a sponsor for this video, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amazon delivered packages to my house, two big old fat ones, and they weren't mine, but I kept them. Ha <laughs> ha, two free air purifiers. Low key, it was a sign though, cause I got bad allergies. <laughs> I farted, then my friends hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I farted then my friend hears it and he didn't know who it was I pretend that I am talking to someone actually it's in school earlier which he would never read this I have no idea what that said or what that even means <laughs> Y'all need to learn to read and spell and write. Please stay in school. Make me mum cry. Oh, love. That's awful, love. Don't be doing that shit, love. Laughing at a blind person for running into a door than breaking the glass. You're messed up, dude. But let me tell you what I did once. One time when I was at SCAD, my freshman year of college, I was at a red light with a crosswalk with my roommate and this blind person and like their, I wanna assume it's their caretaker because they were like holding their arm while they were like, you know, they were walking across the crosswalk and the blind person like ran into my car and the caretaker didn't even help them. And I started laughing and that's so bad, but it just went like, it was just like a boom, it was like a thud into like the front of my car while I was sitting at this stoplight yeah not the proudest moment on my part i think i'm in love with another man and i am meant to be with him also i'm married <laughs> we ruining marriages over here <laughs> we home wrecking in this bitch that's some tea i don't know what to tell you maybe be honest wait when did this turn into an advice column i've under reported on my taxes because i wouldn't be able to afford the potential tax bill 
You're going to jail. Let men fuck me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Smelled my dad's underwear. Oops, hee <laughs> hee. When I first went to college, I saw this really, really fine guy who comes to see this girl who's my classmate. I befriended her enough to get to talk to him and did not get to know him in a span of three months or... Y'all know I'm dyslexic. Simple sentences, please. After my emotionally abusive boyfriend and I broke up, my friends and I went to his house that he still shared with his parents at the time, put a watermelon in a tube sock and swung it against his mailbox. The mailbox broke and we zoomed off in a car and we all made up an alibi so he still thinks to this day none of us did it. I mean, I have to give it up to you. Like, fuck those emotionally abusive people in your life. So my dad once lended me his phone to show me some pictures of his vacation he went to paris i accidentally swiped a little too far and saw a dick pig i think he later realized what i have seen because i made a rather disgusting face dinner was quiet <laughs> That's disgusting. Um, that is so gross. I'm so sorry that you had to see that. I accidentally cracked my brother's head open but blamed it on him because he wasn't old enough to speak full sentences. Prison time, prison time, prison time. <laughs> oh my God. I was playing with my coochie. <laughs> I was playing with my coochie with my fresh set of nails and one of them accidentally broke into my coochie. Had to get it surgically removed. That probably hurt so bad. I'm so sorry. Those acrylics are hard fucking nails. My grandpa had a phobia of snakes. I had one of those wooden snakes that made rattle noises. And when I was like six, I took it with me when we went to his place. He looked into my backpack for some reason. Long story short, he had to get his heart valve exchanged. He lived for another eight years and died from something unrelated. I don't think anyone knows that his heart failed because of me. Okay, um, I don't think that was, wait, what? That made no sense. That made, <laughs> that made absolutely no sense. Who died? Your grandpa did, your grandpa didn't die from the snake if he died eight years later. Y'all are really dumb for real. I, <laughs> You guys are fucked up. I ran over a little girl with my bike when I was nine and rode away super fast while she was on the ground still because I was scared of talking to strangers. You guys are messed up. Why would... It? That's... <laughs> I was so petty at a rude customer one time. I made someone mess up his order and stole his EpiPen and he got an allergic reaction to the food and got into the hospital. Low key worth it, not gonna lie. <laughs> that is so fucked up, dude. If he would have died, you would have been a murderer. I used to eat fish food and my discharge. Oh, no. No. Ew, 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 ew. Ew. <clears throat> I can see fish food, but your discharge, it's the stuff that comes out of you sometimes just because there's, I don't know if there's a reason. Tricking people into thinking I care about them when really all they're talking was just the noise I used to kill the sound of my own self-hatred. <laughs> Ooh, that's a deep one. Um, I'd recommend therapy and a lot of it. So. so when I was younger, I used to have violin lessons in a church during the weekdays. So it was empty during the day. And while my brother was in with the teacher practicing piano, I would run around the church and high key destroy things, mess with the decorations, etc. And now I feel horrified for doing all that when I was younger and have no idea why I did it. I know why I did it. Your subconscious was saying, fuck organized religion. <laughs> I stuck my dick in a bag of Doritos. <laughs> No one wants your dick Doritos. I accidentally ran over a person going 30 miles per hour and I didn't stop. <laughs> Jail, prison time, mental illness. I lied about going to therapy to get out of work early once a week for the past two years. <laughs> Suck dick on accident. Now, <laughs> how is that an accident? I mean, you either do it or you don't, unless you just are walking down the street and just pretend my arm is a dick and you're just like, Was it like that? I'm like, oh man, oh God, what was that? I don't know. I was super drunk and at the bar and was sucking on this guy's nipples. He was quite older than me. To this day, I'm still traumatized. <laughs> Once again, what do you mean by like sucking his nipples? Like you were just like, <laughs> or he was just sitting at the bar and it was like, hey, what's up? Stuck on these nipples. I separate my fat turds into smaller chunks with a pencil so that my mom won't get mad at me for clogging the toilet. <laughs>
Wait, so like you stick a pencil like in between your legs as the shit comes out? When I was 15, I really wanted to go to this camp for music, but my family couldn't afford it. My mom, however, got a job at the camp so I could go for free. She was the cook. Then three hot popular boys arrived and that made me embarrassed of my mom. That sucks. Cause I didn't want them to know me as the daughter's cook. Later that day, everyone was taking on how their family is so rich and etc. So I said my mom was a president of a music company in China. Four weeks later, I got exposed. This camp was called Rock Camp. Oh my god, wait a minute. I know what that is. I thought it was, it's Camp Rock. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I literally thought that that was a real thing. <laughs> I used to kiss my sister and we'd pretend to fuck even though I didn't really know what that was and we make up these whole scenarios. Now I'm a lesbian. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so for this one, I definitely suggest a lot of therapy. Unpacking all that needs to definitely happen. When I was little, I didn't understand how to bleach my mustache, so I used a liquid bleach. What the fuck? Like for the laundry, LMAO. I just dump a bit from the jug into a cup, and one night I forgot the cup I used on the bathroom vanity. My mom came into my room in the middle of the night freaking out because her throat was burning. Oh. She drank a glass of water from the same cup the bleach was in, and I just pretended I was asleep instead of telling her lols. <laughs> okay, okay. So my cat Jitterbug had a litter of kittens. At the time I was like eight and loved to throw the cats up in the air. What the fuck? I know how fucking stupid my ass was. As I threw on up, it slipped through my GD hands and well, the bitch died. <laughs> what is with people and like killing small animals? I don't understand that. Definitely serial killer tendencies, but at the same time, they sounded like an accident, but who knows? Ugh. You can't even see me. Hey guys, I forgot to do an outro because I don't know. I just forgot. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give the thumbs up and tell me if you like these types of videos. Um, <laughs> um yeah, I don't really know what else to say besides. All right. I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye.